If I'm unable to work, my entire family will go down. But what I've done is I've prepared myself in case I cannot work, in case of sickness, in case of illness, in case of an ability of a nervous breakdown. What happens if my business loses and I can't provide income for my family? What I've done is I've set up a big structure around that. I've hedged the risk around myself. The first thing I did was I set up disability insurance to cover the risk of not being able to work through a nervous breakdown or inability, let's say, to pick up the phone and call people. My big income is built off picking up the phone, having conversations with people, and earning commission, earning fees, billing by hour. If I can't speak, then people aren't really going to pay me for that and I'm going to lose my ability to work. So I bought a disability insurance policy to cover that risk. The second side was what happens if I get a very serious illness? Something were to happen to me that I, got, God forbid, had a heart attack or I would, had a chronic illness or Parkinson's or something real. What I did was I bought a life insurance policy with illness protection. So if something were to happen that I were to get sick or ill, I can take from the death benefit and use that money in my life to cover any of those expenses. My income would go down. My assets would be depleted to pay for this sickness. So I wanted really to prepare myself. Then I thought of, okay, what's the third way that I can, I can make sure that I have enough money? So the third way that I did was I took advantage of every IRS tax loophole that came around. The IRS is very favorable to small business owners. So they allow us to put money into retirement plans. They give us deductions. So I put money into Roth IRAs, Roth 401ks, traditional 401ks that have access to liquidity. A traditional 401k through a company you can borrow against in case something were to happen that you didn't have that you need the assets. In, for a Roth IRA, I can pull the principal out. But then what I did on the side was I put money into high yield savings accounts for my cash. I put money into brokerage accounts and just traditional investments, not tying everything up into my retirement. So I created this structure that in case something were to happen to me, I would have enough money until I would retire. So then I could use my retirement accounts to then fund for the rest of my life. So I'm preparing at all times. One, if I get sick and I can't work, and that goes down to zero, I'm able to pull from the insurance. The second side is if I got sick, I can pull from my life insurance. The third side would be having enough money in my traditional accounts to make sure I have enough until my retirement. Once I get to my retirement, I can pull money off of my 401ks and the growth of my Roth IRAs. I can also use the cash value of my life insurance to help fund my retirement. So I created this diversified tool. What most people do and the big mistakes that I see is that people immediately go above their limits and go above their actual lifestyle to afford something that they can't afford. They're not prepared in case something were to go wrong. They're only prepared on the off chance that everything were to go right.